Hey guys, Johnny and Lawrence back for the next episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Hello. So last episode we were busy with Draconic Evolution and we took on the Chaos Guardian. Yes. Which went reasonably effective. Well, I mean, reasonably good. At least one of us survived. Yeah. Um, and recently we've been looking at the Singularity, so I did go ahead and take all the um, downgrade, storage downgrades out of these, so now we can collect a bit more, and we've got like 1,500, 1,600 on most of these. Yes. The ones down here, sorry? Which is a lot. It's a lot of those ones. These ones down here aren't as effective. So we have swapped them over to use the Wand of Animation for them all now. So we've got like 300 of each, so, well, except from Dish. Dash seems slow, but yeah, Dash does let's seem just slow. quickly grab one of each, and if you get out of the way, or I'll just kill you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could try. Yeah, that's true. It looks like you're not wearing... I know you are wearing armor, but it's very confusing. Yes, I have turned off all of my armor, so it looks like I'm not wearing any, but I am. Nice. But look in the quest book now. Look at us having every singularity made. Yay. So that's pretty awesome. I'm going to claim that. And wow, that didn't even fit in my inventory. <laughs> was that a lot of crap? <laughs> it's, my inventory was basic. Well, it wasn't empty, but it was pretty uh, okay, empty. Yep. Yep. It's uh, a lot of rack. Uh, yep, that's a lot of rack. Oh, well. Maybe Just then I'll uh, get some in my rack back because... Spewing rack on the ground. Yeah, there was quite a lot. But I did spend a lot of rack on the Epilary sword. So because the top tier sword doesn't drop loot anymore for some reason no idea why and i wanted to up my well up our our production of some of these singularities so i think it was mine or six 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 sorry six 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 ten that said uh our dash setup probably isn't going to be sufficient so i went ahead and made a bunch of mob duplicators we've still got 32 in the system but for that the i fan has stopped what? Yeah, well, mine hasn't because I'm in menus, but I needed a lot of magma crawler eyes. So I wanted the looting sword so that I could go basically get them a bit, bit, bit quicker. Yep. And then I I actually used a spawner we haven't used before, the draconic spawners. Because oh, um, okay. we had some broken spawners of the magma crawlers from back in the, the good old Erebus days. Yes. And I just used one of them. But what I'm going to do now is show you our, our new setup. So we were using these mob duplicators, and we are still using these. But our new setup is bigger. <laughs> bigger and better, <laughs> yes. Uh, here, if it loads in and isn't too laggy, is our new setup. So <laughs> we basically have an area for every single every single one of the blocks that doesn't have EMC. And I've got a, we've got a little clip of building these together, so we'll, we'll throw that in as well. Yep. Each of these chambers has eight mob duplicators dedicated to the mobs and we've made it so the mob the mob imprisonment tools have basically like half a heart or one heart so all the mobs when they drop just instantly die killed by the diamond spikes the the stuff what's getting put in the trash all the loot bags are getting put oh, in the yeah. trash and then well not all of them it depends what picks them up first but a lot of the loot bags are going in the trash Everything else is getting sent home with the dimensional transceivers. This was a bit of an accident, this tower. <laughs> this is a slight so one. I, I was going to put down a bunch of these fluid tanks, so we're just exporting solidified experience in to make the the fluid that we need. But I, got, I grabbed the stack, and I was using a diamond builder's wand or the unbreakable one, and I swear it must draw from AE or something, because that's more than 64, I would say. That's probably more than 64. How <laughs> high is it? I don't know, I'm not going to count, 
but uh, this is just all hooked up to its own dimensional transceiver, which sends all the, it receives solidified experience, and then it sends all the fluid to on the liquid XP channel, which comes down here into these transceivers, which receive liquid XP and convert it into mob essence. So we've got 16 making mob essence, which seems to keep up fine with these. We've also tidied up the farms a lot and got rid of everything that doesn't use EM, well, everything that has EMC, yes. because it seems pointless now. A little bit. Um, actually, now that I think about it, all we only needed 11 of these. The last one here, we're actually spawning in eight times obsidian. Eight times compressed obsidian, sorry. Oh, so okay. we now have 2.5 quadril... Yeah, quadrillion EMC. A so lot. That, that should tidy us over quite nicely. But I think today we can finish Draconic and then start working on some of the crazy, like, endgame recipes. Yeah, sounds good. Um, so the two things left in Draconic are both both blocked out by the same thing, essentially. And that is we need Chaos Shards. Now, we got five last episode when we killed, took on the Chaos Guardian. Yes. But five isn't enough, and I can't find the section. There it is. So we need to make ten Chaotic Fusion Crafting Injectors, and each of these takes a Chaotic Core, and each of these takes one Chaos Shard. So already we don't have enough. Yeah, we, we need don't, more. We don't need to make ten, but we have ten, and yeah. I want to upgrade all ten. So we're going to make ten. <laughs> so to do that... I don't want to take on the Chaos Guardian again. We should have wooted him. Yeah, that might have been a good idea. Why didn't we woot him? <laughs> oh, I don't know. That was dumb. But what, what we've done instead is... I've not even saved it. That was dumb. <laughs> so Chaos... Chaos Shard. So we can't make the top tier. The only way is from the mob drops. Well, not mob drops. The bit underneath the ground. But we can use a crystallizer to make the large chaos fragments, and for that we need liquid chaos, which we can make in a magicka converter, which yes. we have. Actually, that's a fair point. Would wooting him actually give us chaos shards? I don't know. As he doesn't drop them. Ooh. It's mining up the island. Maybe a custom... They might have custom added it. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, um, well. But either way, so this is made with awakened draconium, carbon ingots, pile of neutrons, and refined obsidian, all stuff that we have, and it makes 10 millibuckets per, and each of these large shards takes, uh, I think it's 100? Yeah. Ah, so so there's, there's quite a few. But the way we've got this set up is Applied Energistics is now hooked up using one of these wireless things we crafted a while back and never used them, mm -hmm. and this thing is so expensive. It says there that it's using 9,000, but that's a lie. It's using 40,000 RF per tick to go from there to there. Oh. It's bonkers. Shh. But this is just exporting one of each of the items into each of the drawers. The Draconium, we're not exporting too much because we still want to make singularities as well. And then the next problem we faced is that the Ember storage was full up, so it stopped crafting. Uh, so I have made this. This is the easiest way I could think to void Embers. There's probably a better way. But essentially, we're extracting all the embers out into copper cells temporarily, and then just burning cobblestone. <laughs> and that's just voiding all the embers. The mana is all just being voided as well, because we don't need it. And I don't know, we've got 12 buckets now, so we should be able to make oh, like a reasonable nice. amount of these. So we need to go over to Nuclear Craft, our favoritest platform ever. Oh, I thought it would have been Draconic. No, it's a crystallizer that we need. Oh, uh, okay. So that that is the only way. There is no, well, no I mean, other thing. And that's here's one. Is that not got fluid in it? Can we repurpose no. this? I mean, oh, we might be able to just repurpose this. Hmm. Yes. Do we have applied energistics over here? We do. We do. Oh, we should be able to just set up like an export bus into that. Let us grab oh, no, the okay. stuff for that, and we sh we will see if we can get this working. So I think it's all hooked up to applied inner. Oh no, it's missing a channel. No, oh, that's <sighs> not good. No, it shouldn't be missing a channel. Why does it say uh, it's missing a channel? Device just, online. Okay, we were being slow. We were just premature. But uh, so I've grabbed a bucket, and then just if we go into the wireless terminal, we have the buckets on there because we got a fluid storage bus. So I nice. should really this in the export hopefully um, i'll put in some upgrades as well oh there you go oh wow that's just draining 
is oh, just draining stuff. Draining power. But I think power. Oh, okay. well, this is just powered by a spectral coil. We can, oh. we can fix that. Let me grab yep. a dimensional transceiver. But it's already got full speed upgrades and energy upgrades, and this is still reasonably slow. It's still, but is that because it keeps losing the power? It's not actually Maybe. finishing anything. No, it's it's going. It's got four already. Oh, okay. Well, we need nine pair. So that is reasonably slow, but remember, we've already got five to start, so... Oh, okay. I mean, that's not horrendous. Oh, let's sped it up, up yeah. Let's sped that, it up. That's much better, yeah. Ah, okay. I mean, I mean we're now we, up to, like, eight. Yeah, if we were really bothered about this, we could, you know, take accelerate it. We do, like, a bit of tech acceleration mm. in this pack. Oh, the other thing I completely forgot is we have now unpowered our silky jewel dimension. Oh, yes. It served its purpose. It got us our EMC, and now eight times cobblestone is crazy. Yeah. So, I thought it was obsidian, not cobblestone. Oh, it, is, it is obsidian. Sorry, I lied. Um, Can I... Is there any space in here? Can I put this bucket in there, or is it... Yeah, I can. Yeah. Awesome. Have we already went through it all? Because that's not full. I don't know. I think it's... Oh, it stores 16 buckets, and we only had 12, so yeah. Oh, yeah. We all went through it all. Um... This but is going to fill up. I guess grab away. them. And we need to factorize these into a combiney one. Yep. So I think you could just craft them as well. I swear it said it was only a factorizer. I will have a look. Oh, yeah. But that's that's weird. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> we have... Uh, what do we have now then? That's, that's almost enough. So chaos shards, we have eight. So there we can be another we... one in the system. Awesome. So we have nine. Yes, that is perfect. So nine should hopefully mean we can do the first part, which is going to be making these chaotic cores. Oh, okay. And they're they're really easy. Awakened draconium. So four awakened draconium pair and four awakened cores pair. So I don't see that being a big problem. No. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I'm... It's really hard to grab the cores because we keep getting awakened draconium blocks in at the same time. Uh, <laughs> quick, oh, quick click. Like, pretty much, pretty much just trying to beat the system. But uh, I should be able to chuck all these in here. The awakened draconium. I am aware that I've grabbed extras because, eh, why not? Yeah, we've got it. And then hopefully that charged really fast. Mm -hmm. No. It did for it did to begin with, and then it all stopped. What? Wow. Oh, it just can't keep up. Is this an expensive recipe? I, I don't know why I'm saying that. Of course, it's going to be an expensive so. recipe, isn't it? Eight hundred million RF. Okay. Wow. Uh, I don't know how much we're even storing. Like, is that going to? You no, know, we're full. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh well. Maybe it'll be fine. It's probably totally fine. Honestly, I think the slowdown is just these transceivers still can't send fast enough. Uh, Not much we can do there. So we've got one crafty, so we should be able to get that quest complete, which is nice. Can we? Yeah. Probably. And then it's just one left. So the the other thing in here that's going to be quite easy is the alchemical bag. Annoyingly, we've even made one. And oh, really? just... It was part of a recipe for something. Oh, uh, okay. And I just must have never had it in my inventory. So, oh, okay. Let's let's craft that because I mean, does it need to be a specific color? No. There we go. They they're quite useful actually. They're kind of like the Ender pouches we've been using, but yeah, okay. I don't really know why we would swap over now unless it's much bigger. Let, let's have maybe. I maybe should have had a look before I threw it away. Um, I have messed around. Oh with God, it's huge. Yes, yeah. huge. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's massive. That is quite big. Okay, that's quite good. Um, I take it back. I was going to say, I've messed around with your setup over here a little bit. I've repurposed one of your factorizers to basically combine them and just uh, move the patterns over to the other one. Okay, we're going to need... Uh, I think we will need both them for... Okay, I'll make another one and put it down. Yeah, I was going to say, it was just because we are animating so many blocks. Like, I wanted to have spare ones on hand. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so there's a factorizer down here you could have used. The old one still exists. I mean, it was just because it was... <laughs> Literally just extracting from this machine and putting it into the factory. Lazy. Well. Wait, that makes even less sense when that's what you can craft in normal crafting. And then it imports into the system. Yeah, but that's slower than manual crafting. Oh, <laughs> like, okay. I, I don't get it. 
I will, I will stop this then. I do what you want. I, I, I don't mind. It just seems like the only reason we're using them is when we have to. <laughs> I don't know why you're electing to for extra ones. Oh, I was doing good. You is doing stuff. <laughs> mean. You were mean in oxygen, so it's only fair. Mean or winning? No, you were just outright mean. No, I think it's called winning. Mean. But anyway, anyway, so that that means we're just going to have to wait until we get 10 of these and then we can do all the, those. But I want to start looking at the Tome of Knowledge. Like, we did look at this previously and I think the only blocker was the Infinity Ingot. Oh, okay. So I think we should try and get some Infinity Ingots. Do you yeah. know? That sounds like a good idea. I think it does. So the main thing here, again, everything looks easy enough, except from the Infinity Catalyst, which, again, looks easy enough, minus the Endless Pearl, Ultimate Singularity, and Ultimate Stew. So it's just a couple of things, then. Yeah, there's a couple of rabbit holes. The Endless Pearl is probably the easiest of them. Like, this is just Endstone, Ender Pearls, Neutronium, and Nether Star. Like, not a problem. We should have all of those on hand. Yeah, and if anything, that's maybe something we can set up auto-crafting for. We can maybe try the automation interface. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how tricky that is. I've never actually used this before. Eh. Have we not? No? I'm pretty sure we had it set up in our old... We've played Project Ozone 3 before, remember? Yeah, I still really don't ever remember using the automation interface. Yeah, well. Maybe we did, but I don't remember um, so the only thing tricky in this recipe is the crystalline, crystal teen components. Everything else we have done before. I think crystal teen, are we not Yeah, we, we've, got, we've got it animated, yep. so it's not a problem. So let us go ahead and craft all the bits for this, and then we'll be back in a second. Hey guys, so we've got most, well, we've got all of the stuff to make a automation interface. If you we, can't tell, we definitely weren't going for 64. No, definitely <laughs> not. Um... We, well, we were, but then we realized that this black iron frame uses a lot of these black iron slates, and the only way I've got to make those is through the immersive engineering setup, which is uh, slow. Slow. We can beef it so, up if we need to, but I hope we don't need yeah. to. So we, well, I say we, I suggested we make one, and then we try and animate it to see if it works. Um, That's a good is idea. the wand of animation in the system? I have just grabbed it. Okay, I will plonk this down. Imprisonment. I mean, it already looks like it's got a lot of stubby legs. Oh. Wait a minute. Yay. Oh. Yay. Yes. Totally can't Which animate it. <laughs> we don't need to make any more of them. Thank it God. Does. That's nice. I mean, they're not awful. Oh, actually, we did get quest complete as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Kind of forgot about that. The crystal teen capacitor. No, not... I don't know why I just want to say capacitor. I remember those things so painfully. Yes. Um, <laughs> but no, the... Was it the crystal teen uh, components? Crafting component or something? Yeah, so these component things and the catalyst, obviously, therefore, then... Oh, no. The catalyst is different. I didn't oh. notice that. It's an elite catalyst and a crystal teen component. Oh, but, okay. uh... Yeah, I can't even remember what I was saying. That, that was a uh, quest. That was a quest. That's what I was, that was what you were saying. <laughs> yeah. So we have a few of the automation interfaces in the system now, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be enough for you. Um, let's have a look. Got a, got a couple. Ooh. Got a couple. Just a hundred. You know, we only have like four tables. But we've well, got two stacks now. We can now automate them like 50, 25 times each. Yeah. How perfect. Fine. Um, so do you remember how this all works? No idea. Absolutely no idea. Okay. I think you place them on top. You place them on top. Well, you have you've succeeded then. Oh, we there you go. Okay. <laughs> do we want them on every? Wait, what are we trying to automate? Again? I don't know. Oh, the was it? Was it the old? No, it was the endest peril. So we, I think we probably also want to make another ultimate crafting table. Oh, okay. Which is a bit of a pain because there isn't EMC or anything. Unless no. you can animate that. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, that is our <laughs> solution to everything these days. Can, oh, can we animate it? I so hope we weren't setting up a recipe in there. I don't think so. I don't think so either, but I didn't check either. Yeah, so. well. Uh, let's just animate them all. And yeah. Grab them. It'll be fine. I didn't name that last one. Oops. 
It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, let us... They look weird. They do look pretty weird. Let's go ahead and spawn in a few of these things, and then we'll be back in a second. So guys, we've set up one of these crafting tables, and we've hooked it up to Applied Energistics. I think Lawrence has almost made... Oh, you have made the recipe. Yeah, the recipe uh, is... So you essentially... Did it let you, you shift-click it in, like... Yeah, you can, you essentially put the recipe in the ultimate crafting table. and then We're you talking about different things. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, the pattern. Um, kind of. You can... Um, so if I open up my applied energy terminal, go to the pattern. If you go to the processing one, you can shift click it in, like you said, but it only gives you three end stone. Yeah, I knew it put the wrong stuff in the left. I didn't realize it still put the thing in the right. That's yeah, so pretty I, handy. And then just essentially put the stuff in manually which yeah because this recipe is quite yeah. friendly and the fact that we there's less than nine items so we can do it yes and then like you were saying put all the stuff in the ultimate crafting table as a placeholder and then we went into the automation interface and clicked save recipe and hopefully if we request that now Yep. It should do something so let's just request 10 of them because I'm really optimistic oh it's oh, putting oh. stuff in it is already um, doing stuff. Yep. That's pretty nice. Is it going to work? Now, I don't uh, think it'll auto-extract is the... Oh, okay. No, okay. it did. But uh, it okay. won't auto-eject. So I'm thinking if I set this auto-eject button here, maybe it'll push it automatically into the interface. There's an auto-eject button. Yep. If you go into config, oh, yeah. auto-eject. Hmm. That's a shame. It doesn't look like it's working. But, I mean, that's not really a big yeah, deal. We can, we, can, we can just put a condo conduit or something. or something in there. So that is step one of many. Yes. <laughs> but it, it's going to be an easy process. Like, that wasn't the easiest bit or anything. Oh, like we picked it's not the why hardest we picked it first. Start. It's fine. So we should have those endless pearls now. And I guess quest complete. Yeah, there's a got five already. Which is not yes. a quest complete. Did you get a quest complete? Uh, no. No. I Surely that's got to be Is it? a quest. Let's have a look. Where's Sai? Nope. Okay, it's just the ultimate stew in cosmic meatballs. Well, that no, is cruel. Two little bits of that then. Oh, so we were thinking maybe cosmic meatballs next? Yeah. I think. So a lot of this stuff's going to be okay. Annoyingly, I'm not clever enough to work out how to automate this because it's got more than nine things. Well, I mean, we could automate it. We just couldn't auto-craft it, I feel. I mean, I'm, wonder I'm wondering if it would have an issue because you've got two of everything. How would it tell where to put? It wouldn't because you would like. just set the recipe and it would work. Oh, okay. There's like 50 of everything in the end is per one that works fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the issue is Applied Energistics only lets you automate with up to nine input items. So the only way I think, think we could automate this is if we just export everything into it manually. Yeah. Which, I mean, would actually work. It would just always make them. Eh. Oh, uh, didn't you mention something about chaining Yeah, it's patterns. horrible and you don't want oh, to okay. do it. Or I don't want to do it. You can do it if you want. I don't think we're going to need that many. So... Most of this stuff, like I say, isn't too bad. So let's just bookmark all of the EMC things and let's just make a stack, well, let's a stack worth of input items. Yeah. I guess. Ooh, there's a few options for this one. Oh, that's just fish. Any fish. And I will grab a extended crafting table. Oh, yeah, that actually came up for that. Nice. Found it. I had three in my inventory. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, this is just a manual one, so I'll just chuck this down here. Because our I Lawrence mean, is going to automate it, <laughs> even though I just said it was a manual one. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I don't know, I, I don't... I mean, if we're exporting it all into a chest, we could just have it just dumping in. Well, I just said I don't think it's worth it, uh, is okay. it? <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll get rid of it. Well, you said you think we only need, like, a, what, 30 recipes of this or something? Like... Uh, for the meatballs, yes. Yeah, so... Why have it auto craft yeah, it always? That, that, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, um, but yeah, so most of this stuff's okay. I think even the raw gas meat we were getting a while back from Woot raw mm, gas yeah. meat. We've got like nine thousand. Yeah, nine hundred. Um, venison. I don't know if we have any. 
We have no venison, or I can't spell. No, we've got none meef. No. We have 66 fish. I'm pretty sure we have fish. Yeah, we'll just use normal raw fish. Yep. And imp hide, I think we have none. Ah. So, what's the best way? Should we go find all those mobs in Twilight and woot them? Or mob duplicate them? Uh, I think it would, would be fine. Yeah, I'm just thinking we can only make one at a time. Maybe we should woot and mob duplicate. Yep. And that way we can... Idea. Chuck them downstairs. So let's go to the twilight and find all these mobs and see if we can get the, the meat that we need, essentially. <laughs> so we changed our mind, I think. You we, changed your mind. Okay, I changed my mind. Lawrence did want to automate it and I thought it was pointless and then it's a pain to get this recipe together, so we figured why not. So rather, because we can't put it in applied energistics as is and I don't want to do intermittent, like, in-between recipes... We have basically set up this bank of drawers, which have every item that the recipe requires. Yep. And then we've set up some export buses with capacity cards, so we can put all of the stuff being exported into them. We've set these drawers to have the downgrade filters in them as well, so they'll only ever store a stack. And if we look at the conduits, we'll just see, basically they're all set to extract. Oh, I didn't mean to put that down. Yeah. Oh, that's a nine. Let me grab that conduit instead. Um, so there's a spare conduit in there. Nobody cares. But basically these are set to extract when there's a signal, and that's the red signal, and this is set to input a red signal. So we should really just craft them by flicking this lever. <laughs> that actually looks like it worked. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> it only appears to be doing one draw. It's only doing one draw. Well, maybe that's just how it does it. But one thing I'm immediately noticing is we probably wanted speed upgrades in all these. Probably. And it's also going to be annoying in that it looks like it's going to stack them all to 64 before it makes uh, yeah, a thing. That's going to do other ones. Well, I mean, it's going to do it, hopefully. I don't know why that's not put in 64 at a time. No idea. I've just put the speed upgrades in everything. Hmm. Oh well. But it seems Maybe to be the... doing it. Uh, it's because the... Oh. And now it's stopped. <laughs> Maybe because the thing is full of anti-chicken. Which it doesn't need anymore. Oh, this doesn't work then. That is a shame. Well, I thought this was a good idea. I suppose... Yeah. Regardless, what we can do is just literally grab a stack of everything. I'm not going to have the inventory space. <laughs> nope. If you step away for a second, they'll bin some of my inventory and should be able to pick them all up. Did you pick anything up or have I got all? No, I think you've got all. Ah, okay, let's use some cosmic meatballs. Go. There we go. There's a little bit. <laughs> okay, our automation didn't quite work. No. That makes me sad. But... I mean, either way, it's really easy to craft them now because we just come over here and it's all the stuff's on hand. Yeah, so sorted. That's a thing. Um, now the next stage, I think we're up to the stew. Yes. And I don't know how bad the stew is going to be. Now the stew isn't too bad, I don't think. So we need more neutronium, pot stock, chicken dinner, rice, if I can find it. There we go, add my rice. I'm just trying to bookmark them all. It sounds so like you're doing a Chinese order. <laughs> um, my rice. Tomato and potato. So uh, there's a couple of different kinds of beans. That looks to be the only one that's got two options. I think mm, looking at it, it's got to be... Either Pam's Harvest Craft or random things. Yeah, so we can buy the beans, which is yep. quite nice. So I think we should buy them and then plant them. Um, tomatoes don't have EMC either, so maybe no. buy a tomato seed and we can plant that as well. Yeah. So we might pop over to the farm dimension, well, the void world, plant those things and then see what we've got left to do. So we've been hard at work over in this simple void world making tomatoes and garlic and beans and all the things. Lots of healthy stuff. Pretty much stuff that we would never eat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, true. I'm super healthy. 
Um, but I've now made a pattern for the ultimate stew and hooked it up to applied energistics, but I'm pretty sure it won't work as is because we don't have everything. So we're missing chicken dinner and spicy greens. Now the chicken dinner does have EMC, so it's just going to be a case of making some mashed potatoes for the looks of things, yeah, okay. which is, is harder than it looks. Apparently we have none of this off. Yeah. What? How do we have none of the... We don't have salt. Do we not have salt? Oh, there we go. We can make salt. That's fine. Salt yeah, okay. on buttered potato. We don't have a baked potato. Oh. Oh, wow. This is like... Painful. <laughs> this is, Do you need to bake you some potatoes? I know there's a way you can make them, ironically. You can make them? I swear I just baked one. Apparently, bakeware plus potato makes a baked potato. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes no sense. It's the butter that's proving painful. Yeah. So we need a saucepan, salt, and some silking tofu or heavy cream. That's a... Uh, it's not good. It sounds like a cow. It sounds like you need a cow. Do you think we need a cow? But it helped well, if I, I don't like milk. that recipe. Heavy oh. cream. Oh, were these all going to be in the centrifugal separator? No. No, I thought we'd found everything. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, here's, here's an easier thing. Let's do it that way. We can use milk. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, we, all re we can make milk from like cow essence. AMC. And EMC afterwards. But I had to make her first bucket earlier today. Oh, okay. I did that off camera because when I was tidying up the crops, milk was one of the things we didn't have. But we should be able to make her chicken dinner now. Nope, we can't. Why can't we? Because I've still not made the butter. <laughs> no. It's not going well. I've still not made the mashed but What am I missing? I'm missing the buttered potato for the mashed potato God. for the... The chicken dinner. Just maybe chicken send dinner you on some cooking classes. Well, what I'm learning is don't bother with chicken dinners, guys. <laughs> They're painful. But the only thing left now should be the spicy greens, which I'm just going to see how bad it is first. Okay, there's a few things missing. Ah. We are missing mustard, cooking oil, and black pepper. Now, mustard, I know we did just grow, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yes, I think it just needs a extra step. Ironically, we don't have a juicer. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> like, or a or a pressure plate in the system. Like that that surprises me. These things all surprise me. But there is mustard. Oh, the mustard itself doesn't have EMC. Okay, oh. so we're gonna need to make a recipe for that. But that's fine. Uh, and okay. then the cooking oil looks like we can just use any seeds. That's fine. Black pepper. Did you not see the black pepper? I did see the pepper. And there should be some black pepper in the system. Oh, okay. Well, uh, did you make a pepper? I suppose we didn't need to make lots of it. No, nope, but I did. I bought a peppercorn tree, which I then oh. grew. Oh, okay. Just, That's, that works. <laughs> yep. Um, but it has the, pe the crushed peppercorn has EMC. So I can um, now tear down this tree. That is good. Because good, it's in the middle of my Britannia setup. <laughs> well, I think... I can just make a pattern for all this stuff now. Chuck that in. I can't even remember the last time I was in the interface terminal. It feels like a long time a since this, I just made a vanilla pattern. <laughs> but the real question is, can we now make the ultimate stew? If I can find it. One ultimate stew, it says we can. Is it doing a thing? It's not doing a thing. Because it doesn't have a recipe. Ah. Oh, no. You didn't set the recipe. Oh. Okay. So what we're going to have to do here is be really, really lazy. And I'm going to stick a chest here. And then it's going to dump all the stuff into here. <laughs> and then I'll grab that. And then I will shift click in the ultimate stew. Set the recipe. And boom. Oh, I hope that pot thing isn't going to be an issue. Ah, the it leaves pot, pot staying in there. Just remove the pot from the recipe. That's a good idea. God, you're filled with good no, ideas today. It's almost like I'm the clever one out of the two of us. Well, I just, I've not heard any of these ideas before. Like you being clever, it's very confusing. Mean. Mean, mean is what I do. 
So let's see, can we make like, I don't know, a thousand old emits do now? Is it gonna let us? Crafting simulation processing. Looks like we can, it's really yes, laggy. Very slowly. It's not doing it. Yeah. Oh, it's just very, very slow. Yep, yeah, it's very slow for putting stuff in. Okay, so I think really what you would want to do is stop this process. And what I think we should do... A stack of each. Yeah, a stack of each. Exactly that, Lawrence. So let's cancel this. Grab the recipe. Um, go into the pattern terminal again. And then let's see. Neutron... Uh, do you want to take that stuff out, actually, so that it's not, not mucking up everything? Uh, it seems to have done. Oh, did I just happen to grab it at the time it finished? It looks like it. That was weird. Yeah, Unexpected. Was weird. Um, beans. Let's see. I just realised I'm not going to be able to set the ultimate stew to 64. Ha. Huh. That's fine. Mm, yeah. I, I don't, I don't mind. So annoyingly, I think you, you sometimes can, like, is it like if you shift right click or something, like up, up the amount in the applied energistics terminal, but I've yeah. not been able to get work in, to work in this mod pack. I don't know if it's just a mouse tweaks interaction or, no or something strange like that, but let's see, how much ultimate stew do we have? We have none. Oh no, we got six. I suppose I could put... There we go. I can see it'll make nine. <laughs> no, that's not nine. <laughs> that's 18. I, oh, mass, mass, mass. Maths is not your strong suit. No, so now if I say let's make a thousand ultimate stew, it's going to way over make the stew, but meh. I don't we'll have something care. to eat. Exactly. It'll be fine. Okay, maybe a thousand is too much. Yeah, a thousand might be too much. I don't know why it's so laggy. Wait. Everything's got an EMC bar, like, two things. Okay, let's just make, like, a couple of hundred ultimates, do you? Yes. I don't know why that is so broken. No idea. It's terrible. There we go. So, now it's going to go ahead and craft all that stuff. Oh, and is this going to be faster? Mm, oh, yeah, like... that's much better. I mean, it's still... Slowly should put them in. You'd think it would just put the whole stack at a time, but either yeah. way, I mean, it is, it's it is killing. doing its job. So we have managed to get, let's see, the cosmic meatballs, ultimate stew, and the endest pearl, which is like a pretty good way towards this. Actually, I think that's that's pretty much all the blockers done. Oh, okay. So we can we actually have everything for an infinity Ooh. catalyst. But I'm kind of feeling like if I make an Infinity Catalyst, I'm going to go to want to play with it straight away. So I'm wondering if we should uh, just leave that for next episode. You're teasing it for the next episode, are you? I'm not teasing it for the next episode. We're already running quite bad on time. Oh, okay. And I don't want to get started down what might be another rabbit hole, like even just grabbing the singularities and putting all them together and stuff. No, that makes sense. But no, I think that is pretty good. And one thing I totally forgot to mention as well is I believe Dragonheart996 mentioned the Qatar is like an instant kill and it's charged up using, there's a keybind in Project E and you can use that to charge up your tools and a clean star to power it. But it's definitely not an instant kill. Uh, Lawrence is a bad example because he's got Draconica armor. But True. I was over in the hunting dimension trying to kill stuff, and I could not get this to be instant kill, so I'm not entirely sure. Also, I think Lawrence did some upgrades of our armor. Actually, totally forgot that. We, like, fully upgraded our draconic armor, I think? Or yes. reasonably upgraded uh, it? Upgraded our staff of power and the bow, and then put all the upgrades in up to draconic, because we didn't have access yeah. to the chaotic stuff. So, <laughs> off camera, I might upgrade it all to the um, chaotic, chaotic. Tier. If it lets me. Yeah. Who knows? And also, we put in all the enchantments. It's pretty good now. Yeah. But I, and you did some embers upgrading of your did. tools as well, I um, think. I have put the... Uh, basically, you can put uh, an ancient core on each of the armor pieces, and it lets it absorb heat when it's used. But at the moment, 
none of my armor has received has absorbed any heat. My stuff of power has, but that's because I went to the hunting dimension of mind, basically. But once you've got that, you can add all sorts of um, what's this called? Embers, embers modifiers, which mm. I think we'll have a look into off camera. Oh, okay. But uh, I feel like we're actually getting pretty close to the end of this mod pack. I may be mistaken because there's some crazy stuff, I think, Maybe. after the singularities. But I think we're going to be, uh, we're not going to stop the series just now, but we're going to be looking at maybe starting another one alongside. So yes. if you guys have any recommendations for mod packs or another game or something we could try out playing after this, like feel free to let us know in the comments down below. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon. Bye. Bye.